Tonight, CNN was first to report that the guy who ran digital strategy for the Trump 2016 presidential campaign is about to be called to testify before the House Intelligence Committee that's investigating the Russian attack on our election and the question of whether the Trump campaign colluded. Um, and that, that's really interesting. I think it's also a sign of what's going to be coming down the pike in the next couple of weeks. In general, I should tell you that over the next week or two, it looks like we're about to get back to a focus on that, that collusion issue and on the Russian attack itself. Next week on Wednesday, the House Intelligence Committee is going to hear from Jay Johnson, who was Homeland Security Secretary during the Russian attack right through the end of the Obama administration. That same day, the Intelligence Committee in the Senate is going to take testimony from a bunch of experts and elections officials who are going to be talking about the Russian hacking attack as they experienced it, as it targeted state and local election systems. Beyond that Russian hacking attack on state and local election systems, though, which we're learning more and more about all the time, and beyond the Russian hacking attack on the Democratic Party and the Clinton campaign, the other prong of the Russian attack last year was, of course, their open source social media stuff. Russia appears to have had paid operatives and automated bots using um, propaganda and, and disinformation and uh, mounting these kinds of swarming style attacks to disrupt the messaging of the pro-Clinton, anti-Trump side and to promote and circulate pro-Trump, anti-Clinton news and disinformation. And if, if CNN is right in this report tonight and the investigating committees are now going to start questioning Donald Trump's digital campaign chief from his presidential campaign about that part of the Russian attack, then it would seem that they're getting, the investigative committees are starting to focus pretty intently on that original basic question of whether or not anybody associated with the Trump campaign was a confederate. It was an American confederate helping the Russians mount this attack on our country. Uh, as CNN describes it in their report tonight, quote, the committees are interested in how Russian bots were able to target political messages in specific districts in critical swing states. Senator Mark Warner on the Senate Intelligence Committee asked about this publicly at an open hearing in March, saying, quote, would the Russians on their own have that level of sophisticated knowledge about the American political system if they did not at least get some advice from someone in America? Again, CNN reporting tonight that Trump digital director, the Trump presidential campaign digital director, Brad Perscal, will be called before the House Intelligence Committee, quote, soon. Uh, they also report that the, uh, and they also note, I should say, that the executive in charge of data operations overall for the Trump campaign uh, was Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, who keeps circling, sir, whose name keeps surfacing in all sorts of reports about the ongoing investigations. Now, in terms of the investigatory committees in Congress, uh, we were first to report today that although it is the Judiciary Committees in the House and Senate who have oversight responsibility for the Justice Department and the FBI, it's the Judiciary Committees who therefore would be investigating credible allegations of high-level obstruction of justice in the White House. Uh, we were first to report today that although the Senate Judiciary Committee is taking up that investigation, the Judiciary Committee in the House is not. The Republican chairman of the Judiciary Committee in the House is named Bob Goodlatte, and a Judiciary Committee staffer today gave us this statement, which is um, very vaguely worded, but I'll give you the bottom line. Uh, they're not doing any investigating into obstruction of justice in the House. Now, in the Senate, they certainly are. Boy, howdy, are they. Um, Dianne Feinstein, the Democrat, Chuck Grassley, the Republican, those are the top two senators who are senior on that committee. Uh, and the two of them have been exchanging increasingly detailed public letters about all the things they want to investigate related to potential obstruction of justice. Senator Feinstein sent a letter yesterday in which she explained to Senator Grassley um, that these are all the people she wants to testify as that committee starts to dig in on this obstruction of justice question. She says she wants testimony from the Attorney General, Jeff Sessions. She says she wants testimony from fired FBI Director James Comey, and if he keeps saying no to their asking them, to their, to their asking him, she wants him to be subpoenaed. She also wants Director Comey's memos. She also wants to question 
all of the senior FBI officials who James Comey says he told about his conversations with the president. She wants to interview the deputy director of the FBI and the chief of staff to the FBI director and the general counsel of the FBI and the number three person at the FBI. And she wants to interview the head of the national security branch in the FBI. She wants to interview Dana Bente, who is the number four person in the Justice Department. She wants to interview the director of national intelligence, Dan Coats. She wants to interview the head of the NSA, Mike Rogers. And she would like to do all of that very soon, please. And I don't know if Republican Senator Chuck Grassley, the chairman, will agree to that list, but she has made her list public. She has argued her case publicly for why that committee needs to hear from those people if we are ever to get to the bottom of these obstruction of justice allegations. One point here, though. Even with that giant list of people that that investigatory committee apparently wants to talk to, there is one name that is not on that big long list that puzzles me for not being there. Um, part of the reason everybody wants to keep talking to the Director of National Intelligence, Dan Coats. You know, he gave hours of testimony in open session last week. He apparently gave three hours of testimony in classified session yesterday. Three hours alone in classified session with the Judiciary Committee. Uh, sorry, with the Intelligence Committee. Now the Judiciary Committee wants to talk to him too. It has been reported by the Washington Post and the New York Times and NBC and the Wall Street Journal that Robert Mueller also plans to interview Dan Coates sometime very soon if he hasn't already. And part of the reason everybody wants to talk to him, part of the reason Dan Coates is so important to the question of obstruction of justice is because the obstruction of justice thing isn't just about firing James Comey. Nobody thinks Dan Coates was involved in the firing of James Comey. There is a question beyond that of whether or not the White House the president himself, maybe, tried to pressure the FBI into dropping their investigation beyond just the threatening and firing of James Comey. And the Washington Post reported that on March 22nd, President Trump asked Dan Coats, the director of national intelligence, in person in the Oval Office, if he could contact the FBI and try to get him to drop their Russia investigation. If, if that reporting is true, if the president said that to Dan Coats, if that's what's driving all of the interest from all of these committees and the special counsel in talking to Dan Coats, if that's what's driving all the, the, the imperative to get his testimony about this, it should also be noted that that report from the Washington Post says there was a witness to that conversation between the president and Dan Coats. There was somebody else in the room when President Trump reportedly made that request. It was the CIA director Mike Pompeo. With all these gigantic lists now of people who have been, you know, advised to get lawyers and told to get ready for their interviews with the special counsel and get prepared to be interviewed, if not subpoenaed, by the investigative committees in Congress. Mike Pompeo, he was reportedly in a, an in-person direct witness to one of the most overt alleged acts by the president to obstruct justice in this case. But nobody seems to want to talk to him. Tonight, we can report that at the end of last month, at the end of May, Chuck Grassley and Dianne Feinstein sent him a letter. They sent a letter to CIA Director Mike Pompeo asking him to tell them what he knows about whether White House officials tried directly or indirectly to pressure the FBI about its Russia investigation. They sent him that letter on May 26, telling him they needed his response by June 9th. June 9th was a week ago. We can report tonight that Pompeo never responded to that. These investigations are as red hot as they have ever been. Uh, we're going to be talking tonight about the speculation, I would even say the indications that the president may be gearing up to try to fire the special counsel. And, he, and maybe other senior justice officials on his, on his way toward that goal. But stick a pin in this thing about the CIA director, Mike Pompeo. I mean, may, maybe, I don't know, maybe there is something magic about being CIA director that means investigating committees and special counsels don't interview you, don't call you as a witness, even if you were in the middle of something they are investigating. But unless there's some magic CIA rule like that protecting him from being questioned, it does seem strange so far that Mike Pompeo appears to have like a little force field around him, deflecting any concerns about his actions and what he knows and what he saw while everybody else around him, up to and including the vice president and the president, start lawyering up. We'll be right back. 
Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.